Hey YouTube, it's Joelle here again, and today I wanted to make a quick video on, in my opinion, what the best nano marine fish is. So here it is, this is the neon goby. They are also sometimes called cleaner gobies just because uh, they will pick off parasites from larger fish such as tangs, and that's what a lot of people use them for. These guys are native to the tropical reefs of Western Atlantic Ocean, Gulf of Mexico, Caribbean, Florida. The reason I think they are such a great fish for nano tanks is because they reach a max size of around 1.5 inches. And you could get them at a, a lot smaller than that. Mine was actually only about 0.5 inches as a baby. Now it's growing up a little bit, but they are very tiny. So here it is in front of the whole tank, my 10 gallon. And as you can see, there's a lot of room for it to swim in. So these guys do get along with my clownfish. Um, they do get along with most other fish. I would just be careful with larger species of carnivorous fish be, just because they are tiny and you can risk uh, them getting eaten. So it's just something to keep in mind. So one thing that stands out the most to me in terms of these gobies is that yes, they will sometimes like sit and dock at a on the rock like perch on a rock using their ventral fins but most of the time they're mostly like an epipelagic fish they use their pectoral fins to flap around and swim in the open ocean uh, unlike other gobies that are just at the bottom of the tank um, so they are really lively and active so they add a lot of uh, movement and activity for the tank which i think is really cool so when it comes to the general care requirement for this fish, they are very easy to care for. As long as you keep the nitrates low, pH around 8.4, salinity 1.023 to 1.026, and a temperature around 78 degrees. When it comes to feeding, these guys are not picky eaters. I've gotten it to eat prime reef flakes, omega-1's marine flakes, frozen brine and mysis shrimp. However, because it is such a small fish, I do have to cut the flakes up into tinier pieces, as well as sometimes the frozen foods. Um, I've even gotten it to eat zooplankton. So yeah, just tiny foods for them. Occasionally, I do see it hiding around the rock work, uh, but it's out most of the time. I want to say when it's a baby, the minimum tank size should be no less than a 5 gallon. Right now, I have it in a 10 gallon, but it's with other fish, and I'm thinking about upgrading to a 30 gallon once they're all adults but yeah so this is my neon goby it's actually named buddy one of my friends named it that and i thought it suited it very well but yeah if you want to see more videos of buddy please make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video